Hi, this is Steve, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a ClickMagic tracking link in Bing, which is Microsoft's web search engine that competes with Google. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about how to set up tracking links with Bing since they introduced upgraded URLs, but it's actually quite simple to do. Let me go ahead and show you how. For this example, I'm going to create a Bing ad for a book called Writing Solid Code. You can see the tracking link I've created for it right here. And as you can see, there's nothing fancy going on. The primary URL just points to writingsolidcode.com. So when people click on the tracking link, it goes right to that website. Now to create our Bing ad, we'll need this tracking link. So let's copy it right now. Next, let's go to Bing. I have that open in a tab right up here. And here you see that I've already created the ad. Here's the title, the ad text, the display URL. For the landing page, you want to use the final URL because Bing is phasing out the destination URL. You want to make sure your final URL is entered right here. Now this is the URL where your user is going to finally end up. It's not your tracking link. To add your tracking link, you click right here on Add URL Options next to where it says Set up your tracking and redirect information. So let's go ahead and click that. And now you see the tracking template. This is where you need to paste in the ClickMagic tracking link. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's all you need to do in Bing to set up a tracking link with ClickMagic. You could save at this point and you'd be done. It's really that simple. Just copy the ClickMagic tracking link and paste it into the Bing tracking template. But while we're here, let me show you how you can add special Bing parameters to your tracking links that give you valuable data that you can use to improve your ad campaigns. To find a list of these parameters, just click on the question mark icon right here. Go to the bottom and click on the link that says, what tracking or URL parameters can I use? That's going to open a new tab. Let's look at the available parameters for tracking templates and let's click it. Here you can see the list of parameters that you can use with your tracking links. If you're new to Bing, let me show you a couple that you might want to use right away. The first one is keyword. This tells you which keyword in your ad matched what the user searched for. An even more useful parameter is query string. You can see here that it says the search query text that the user entered. This tells you exactly what the user typed in the search box that caused Bing to show them your ad. This might be the same as the keyword, but typically it would be a bit different. With this information, you can bid more effectively on your keywords. You can discover long tail keywords that give you higher rankings. You can make all sorts of other optimizations. It's definitely worth gathering this data. So let me show you how to use this with ClickMagic. First, let's copy the query string parameter. Now let's close this tab and go back to our ad. To add the query string parameter to our tracking link, we simply use a ClickMagic sub ID. To set the first sub ID of this link, you simply add a slash to the end of the tracking link, followed by the parameter we just copied. So let's go ahead and add the slash and paste in the parameter. You can set up a total of five sub IDs using this approach. Just add an additional slash and parameter for each one. Now ClickMagic makes it very easy to examine the first sub ID, so it's often useful to simply specify all of your Bing parameters in the first position separated by a symbol such as a dash. For example, if you wanted both the query string and the keyword that was matched, you could add a dash and then the keyword parameter. That's all you need to know to set up a ClickMagic tracking link with Bing. So let's hit save and test it. Now remember, it can take up to 15 minutes for Bing to make these changes, so let's take a quick break. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so now let's go to a Bing search page and pull up the ad. I've got that in a tab right up here. In the search box, I'm just going to enter the name of the book, Writing Solid Code, and click Search. Here are the results, and over here on the right-hand side, you can see our ad. So let's go ahead and click it. There we go, the page pulled up, so our tracking link should have registered the click along with the query string. So let's go back to ClickMagic and take a look. Here's our tracking link, and we can see that the stats are all currently zero, so let's hit refresh and update them. Now you can see that we have one total click and one unique click, which means that the tracking link was set up correctly in Bing. Now let's take a look at the query string data that Bing passed to the link as sub ID one. To see the sub-IDs sent to this link, all you need to do is click on the number in the TC column.
And as expected, the sub ID for our test click shows the query string writing solid code. So with that, we've got everything set up correctly and we're ready to turn on traffic. So to recap this video, setting up your tracking link with Bing is as simple as copying your tracking link, pasting it into the tracking template edit box for the ad, and then adding any Bing parameters you want to the end of the tracking link using a slash followed by the parameter setting. Now, if you read Bing's documentation, it might seem much more complicated than this, but it really isn't. It's just a simple copy and paste and you're all set up. Just be sure that you're setting up the tracking template in the ad itself as I've shown you here, because if you try setting up the tracking template at the account or campaign levels, Bing will give you an error that you must reference your landing page. So that's pretty much it. This is Steve with ClickMagic. If you have any other questions, just contact us at our help desk. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.